Hello, this is your Schoology uh, chapter 7 and then please get ready with your summary and also the Schoology and for the summary, wait a minute the summary should be started at uh, page 109 page, one, page 109, okay and then for the Schoology, first question and you can see there's uh, volcanoes and then what is the effect of the volcanoes in the atmosphere which is include cloud formation this one is yes because ash can help to form the condensation nuclei to the to form the clouds as well as the precipitation. So cloud formation is right. And then exit ring formation. Exit ring formation you can see this as sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide mostly it is an acidic gas. So acidic gas uh react with the uh water in the atmosphere. Generally the acid ring will occur. Ozone dep ozone layer depression. Uh, the HCl in the in the volcanic eruption will also play, uh, make the uh, make the make the make the ozone layer deplete. So number one, two, three is correct. Uh, but for number four, it's not correct because uh, the ash is coming out and that the, the volcanic ash is coming out and then it will hinder the insulation penetrate to the atmosphere. So accordingly. Number four is not correct, so I think the, the answer should be one and two and three. Okay, and the next one, uh, carbon dioxide. How carbon dioxide is formed? That uh, fuel combustion will have uh, carbon dioxide, uh, and then deforestation also will uh, reduce the absorption of the carbon dioxide. So uh, this two is correct, and then number two, we think will uh, caused by the biomass combustion which is also correct okay when we are having some incomplete combustion of the biomass it will cause some uh, methane to come out okay ozone ozone which is caused by the photochemical reaction is also right just like this one okay the light sometimes will re react with the uh, oxygen in the atmosphere okay and all the normal condition of the oxygen which is uh, o2 but uh, when it is in the upper atmosphere, which is just like the uh, stratosphere, there will be more ozone because uh, the light react with the uh, air in the atmosphere. And then the, there will be some special pattern of uh, oxygen will form. That, okay? And then number four, number four is wrong because uh, chlorophyll carbon is a man-made gas. Uh, uh, man -made gas and then, uh, it won't cause by the deforestation. Okay, so number one and two and three is correct. This one, okay. Which of the following process transfer energy from the Earth's surface to the atmosphere as X? Okay, ah, but the X is missed. Sorry, okay, because uh the the graph is gone. Okay, ha. Huh? But anyway, from here, uh, you can you should know that uh number one and number two and number three is correct because this is the most uh major ways of heat transfer number one two three is correct and number four is not correct okay uh, number four uh, which of the following may result uh, result uh may result a higher rise in global temperature rise in sea level right here uh, and then retreat of soul night which is talking about the melting of soul okay it's also okay it's also okay Abnormal biological cycles of organism, huh? What is that? Uh? Okay, uh, it's quite funny. Okay, uh, what maybe the organism start to have some own kinds of uh, cycle. For example, the mouse will eat the eagle. Uh. I'm not sure. Okay, but anyway, number three is not quite, it sound weird. Okay, but for number four, it's also okay. Well, uh, an extreme weight climatic change. Well, so is it number one, two, and four? Let's have a look. Oh, fear. Let's see. Let's see what he's talking about. What's the correct meaning of uh, number three? The rising temperature leads to the abnormal biological cycle of the organism among the... Or oh, which is talking about the flowering pattern uh, or migration pattern. Oh, that's, this is right, okay? Huh? Because it's not quite clear for the choice. It's to for the choice he's talking about, the weight of the choice that he's talking about. Okay, but anyway, uh, this is true. Just like the uh, migration pattern of the birds, migration of the pattern of the uh, migration pattern of the uh, insect, which is uh, 
affecting because in general the the place uh, the climatic the climate of uh, certain places is changing and then some of the birds may change their uh, migration habits okay uh, this is right again okay uh, but you better make it clear but anyway in the choice you cannot choose one two and four ma. and then finally you will come up as uh, one two three and four okay uh, what impact will global warming have on the coastal coastal map on the coastal ecosystem coral beaching yes sir because a uh, hotter climate make the coral die and then uh, the remainder skeleton of the coral is the is right in color so in general it's look like bleaching increased damage of the storm yes and then uh, increasing ph value of the uh, seawater it will become more alkaline right and then we treat thing of coastline okay this also right so is it there check it out oh it's not the one mr wong learn wrongs again well let's see what's happening what mr learn have missed uh, let's check out here Number three is not correct. Oh, pH. Oh, oh I thought it, this is uh, decreasing. I I thought this is decreasing. Uh, okay, I overlooked this. Okay, if for increasing, which is talking about the seawater becoming alkaline, this is not right. The seawater is becoming more acidic. Okay, nowadays. Okay, so number uh, three is wrong. Okay, uh, I. I mistaken as this one as increasing okay decreasing okay uh, so x x is a uh, green land what's happening for the green land lot and impact of global warming find out the wrong one typhoons okay because there will be low typhoons at all right and then another question which of the following of the uh, is not the area uh, a lot the reason for area y where's area y Every wife is in here, Bangladesh. Uh, number A, coastal location. Yes, sir, because uh, they are having some uh, seawater intrusion to make the flooding more more intensified. High population density, yes. Okay. C, lower economic level. True, they are in the LDC so that they are more weaker to prevents the uh prevents the flooding okay number d large amount of greenhouse gas emission lower because ldc as i said so number d is the correct answer this one which of the following are the are natural gases methane yes uh, carbon monoxide huh? and then number three carbon dioxide okay uh, nitrous oxide right uh, so is there any one three four wait a minute? One two four one three four yeah one three four okay next one oh there's a two city for this one two city one is in the Highland Island another is should be in the Heilong Heilong Jiang I I forget the exact name of the provinces okay Liaoling or Jiling, I, I forget. Okay, sorry about this. And so, CTA, uh, the insulation for CTA should be higher. This one is right. Huh? Uh, and then, end goal of insulation, which is uh, directly proportional with the uh, amount of the insulation. So, this one is also right. Okay, extent of the sunshine, which is talking about the, uh, how far the sunshine we can go. This one is correct also okay duration of sunshine which is talking about rather the uh, daylight is long this one is wrong or because for the CTA we should have a more shorter number two, three is also wrong or let's see what's happened or oh, extend of the oh extend of this sunshine okay which means it is smaller. Oh, because we is talking about area of the sunshine. Okay, yes, 
true, 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 true. Because as I uh, because in the low light, you know, uh, it's more concentrated for the uh, sunlight. The sunlight is more concentrated in a smaller area, which is talking about this extent. Okay, I thought this is the uh, the way how far the sunshine is going. Okay, my English is no good. Okay, ah. Uh, Extent of sunshine, which is talking about the area of sunshine. Okay, this one is right. Okay, uh, what's he talking about? Larger sunshine, and then the larger extent of sunshine, which is talking about the uh, sunlight is more scattered in larger area. Okay, 讲咩咧？就系话喂，我大啲 extent 咧，我当嗰个系我头先当嗰个系延伸咁解啊，但系。嚇呢度係講緊個 area 咁解，我英文唔好喎，所以啊，咁咧就誒，若果佢面積大啲咧，係講緊佢啲光咧係散啲 ，OK 嚇。咁若果 A 嘅話咧，其實係應該係 concentrate 啲嘅 ，concentrate in a smaller area for the A，OK、okay?。So the extent of sunshine will be smaller，OK、okay?。And then B is have a smaller angle of incident， 佢斜啲射落去啊嘛。若果係高位度嘅話，斜啲射落去咧。個誒 extent of 誒 sunshine will be larger. Okay, 得唔得 ？Next one. Number ten. Which of the following result from the global warming? 啊 ，rainfall anomalies, right? 啊 ，more tropical cyclones, right? 啊 ，lower evaporation rates. Come on. 啊 ，number one and two. Bye. 啊 ，which of the following 誒 correctly explain the effectiveness of the Mars transit system in alleviating the global warming? Uh, how come NTR can reduce the global warming? Higher energy efficiency? Uh, uh, not really. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, because uh, what is about energy efficiency, which is talking about uh, how how efficient you are using the fuel. Okay. Actually, uh, be frank, uh, for the MTR, uh, it is using the electricity generated by the uh, electricity generator. And then uh, actually... Uh, but for the car, we are directly using the fuel. So MTR in general, which is having a lower energy efficiency than the private car, to be frank. Okay. Uh, number two, reducing of uh, greenhouse gas emission. This one is true because uh, we are using a public transport and then the public transport having a higher transport efficiency. If it's talking about transport efficiency, it is higher. So number two is correct. Lowering the uh private car ownership ratio. This is also correct. So, uh, is it number two and three? Because it's quite few people getting it right. I thought there may be some tricky pet points. Yes, it's true. I got some tricky points. Both of them got are correct. Let's see how to explain it. Less energy is consumed. Hmm. Or oh, in that sense, the energy efficiency is higher. Okay. Oh, it is talking about the fossil fuel can be burn, burn fuel. Oh, the okay. Oh, I got it. Uh, which is talking about the fossil fuel. We can use fewer fossil fuel to, to drive more people. Oh, this is true. Gear. Ah. Huh? Okay. This is true. Okay. But I、uh, I just thought in the way that about how to generate the electricity. Okay, so uh, if next time when you see the energy efficiency, then forget uh, remember this is having higher lah. Okay, sorry, ha.、Huh. Number twelve. Canada pulls out uh of uh Kyoto Protocol. Why? The high latitude countries may benefit from the impact of global warming. See. So that he is quitting, I don't think so because uh, it's just about the dispute of MDC of LDC, so that the MDC is going out of the Kyoto Protocol. Okay, number two, the cost of cutting carbon dioxide emission of the more developed countries is high, true, and then as states are dispute, and so the international cooperation in the com in combating global warming is difficult. This one is also true, two and three. Okay, which of the following? Number thirteen. Which of the following is the evidence of the global warming? Retreating glacier. Yes, ah.、Uh, seasonal melting of sea ice. No. Okay. Expanding desert. Why number two is not correct because it's always happening. Okay. Ah,、uh, year year by year when 
you will feel a uh, summer is hotter than winter, which is very usual. You cannot say, oh, summer is very hot. Yeah, the global warming take place. It's not that sense, right? So number two is not correct. Number one and number three. Be careful about the terms. Fee uh, seasonal because it's a lot of people getting it wrong because they miss the word seasonal. Okay. Huh. Which of the following is the benefits of the global warming? Increase the area of the ring, tropical rainforest. Have you heard that? No. Okay. Huh. And then uh, the uh, B. Long term fresh water supply. Uh, no, just increase the short term effect. Reducing heating costs in the temperate region. Number C sign right. Let's see. Look, let's see the D. Lengthening the uh, growing season in low latitude countries. Uh, one, two, and four is cor uh, is not correct. Okay. Uh, because e there are some uh, regions that having a uh, Low letting, uh, that is having a growing season increase, but uh, it's just for the higher latitude only. Okay, uh. so number C, and then number 15. Law 15, which is talking about a amount of insulation received on the Earth uh, in where? Earth surface in a certain in certain period of time. Which of the following statements are correct? The whole overhead sun is located in the equator, Lola, because as you can see, in the equator, it's not having the highest insulation. The uh, highest insulation is in here, okay, around twenty third, around twenty three point five percent uh degree, okay. Number two, the northern hemisphere having a longer duration of sunshine than that in the southern hemisphere. It's right because uh it's in the northern hemisphere. The highest uh overhead sun is in the northern hemisphere, okay. It's in winter for the uh southern hemisphere. Right, sir? Huh? Huh. Because it's cooler, huh, as you can see. So, number two and number three is correct. Okay? So, number two and three. X, Y, he said. X is a uh, page as uh, question 16. X is having a lower temperature, mean temperature than he said, right, sir? Because it's in a higher latitude, huh? Huh. Y is having a larger te uh, any range of temperature than X is lower because X is in the inland area or well, inland area uh, absorb and heat faster. Okay, so it should be having a higher range of temperature than Y. Okay, uh, E Z have a more uneven dis uh, seasonal distribution uh, of solar radiation than Y. Not really, uh, because uh, the higher latitude will have more uneven seasonal distribution. And if you have learned in CP6, which is talking about the tropical rainforest, this is near the tropical rainforest and uh, the seasonal variation will be smaller. Okay. Number, uh, number three is wrong. And then number two is correct. And then number one. Lower mean temperature, lower mean annual temperature. Oh, this one rises because higher. Okay, uh, I speak too fast. Okay, because a uh, higher latitude eh, will have low lat temperature. So X is having smaller temperature than a uh, lower temperature than you said. This one is right. Okay, and then number two, large annual. Number two is wrong also. Okay, so number two and number. Three is wrong, so number one only. Okay, number one only. Check out the answer. Yes, number one only. Okay. Which of the following gases absorb the long wave radiation in the uh, Earth surface, which is their which is talking about their greenhouse gas? All of the above. 
all of the above. I repeat, please be reminded that the water vapor is a kind of a greenhouse gas as well. Okay, carbon dioxide, I think you have no doubt for this. Okay, and then coal, uh, CFC, I think you you should know this because CFC is uh, used that as a uh, refrigerator and also a coolant of the air conditioner. So that I think uh, you should know CFC is a uh, greenhouse gas and then carbon dioxide, no doubt this is a greenhouse gas. Water vapor, also a kind of greenhouse gas, bear in mind, okay? Because it is having a higher specific heat and then which is talking about they can absorb more heat, okay? Uh, right here, uh, the number 18. Refer to the graph shown in below, which shows the uh, concentration of nitrous oxide with the increase of the temperature from uh, 1050 to 2050. Number one, the trend of nitrous oxide concentration is related to the increasing uh, lumbering activities. You see it? You see it? We are cutting off the trees and then having a higher uh, nitrous oxide. Is it related to this? Low. Okay, uh, because nitrous oxide is mainly caused by the heating, okay, uh, or the burning of the air. Uh, yeah. Let's check it out first. Yeah, it's wrong, okay. Uh, I just thought that uh, lumbering may incur the burning of trees, so that I, 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 I need to have a look, okay. Uh, number two. Uh, the projected chain of the temperature may be affected by the lack of inter-government cooperation. Yes, because uh, the tropical rainforests are mostly in the not uh, the burning of fuel are mostly uh, maybe it is more unregulated in the LDC. Okay, so number two may be correct. Okay, global warming you will become worse and you can see all the all the trend is going up. So it is hotter than before. So number three is correct. This one, Mandav, okay? What they will uh, face under global warming? Indulation of settlement, yes. Destruction of coastal ecosystem, also yes. Adverse impact of the tourism, both of them are yes. So is it one, two, three? Let's check it out. Yes, one and two and three, okay? Uh, kind of easy, this one. Okay, this one, P and just P only, right? Yeah, only P. Uh, what's happening for P? Lengthening of go going season, maybe. Uh, number two, acceleration of desertification. Yes, okay, because it's desert area. Number three, wow, where can you find a C in Yuramchi? Uh? Okay, so number three must be wrong, okay? And this one is very easy, 89% of people get it right, okay? Uh, this one, methane caused by landfill, right? Uh, nitrous oxide, one of the uh, sources of nitrous oxide is made up by nylon, okay? Got the long, which is uh, a fiber that make up of your cloth, okay? Carbon dioxide, thermal power plant, which is talking about the plant that uh, burning fossil fuel. So, number one and two and three is correct, okay? Uh, check it out. Methane can be caused, bear in mind that uh, methane is caused by the, uh, uh, one, two, three, uh, uh, methane is caused by the decay of uh, the organic matter, okay? Just like uh, in the rubbish, there's a lot of organic matter, such as the remainder by the, of their food, and then also different kinds of uh, tissues, dead body tissues. So, uh, after putting it together day by day, it will decay and release the methane. Okay, number 22. This one, global warming has occurred since uh, 1850, isn't it? Not really, because you can see. And then the global warming was worsened in 1880, yes, sir. Okay, as you can see here. And then the global warming anomalies in 2010, 2010, check it out is approximately 0 0.47 degrees Celsius. Sounds right, John. Is it number two and number three? Yeah, number two and number three. Okay. 
because number one is not right and you can see there's a lot of blue blue area blue area is talking about decreasing okay temperature decrease this one 20 v uh well many people wants in this question or well, let's check out what's happening uh uh the temperature of uh, 3,000 meters is approximately uh, 12 degrees Celsius. Let's check it out. Uh, as we have, uh, if you have learned the environmental lapse rate, which is talking about when we are going to increase 1,000 meters, the temperature is around, uh, is dropping around uh, 6.5 degrees. Okay, so this one, uh, I'll be in doubt. But anyway, if it's just a uh, decreasing, uh, six degrees for 1000 meters let's check it out first and uh, let's check it out for others first okay more heat is lost in long wave radiation at the summit okay uh, this one uh why is getting cooler it's because the air is becoming less dense if it is less dense which is talking about it cannot absorb more long wave radiation so number one and number two is uh correct okay because you can see number three is not covered by the eyes, okay? Uh, because it's 12 degrees Celsius, uh, not yet freezing. So number one and two only. Next one. This one is a negative correlation, but what are the negative correlation? Cow cover increase. Zero range of temperature will increase, will, will decrease, sorry. Okay, uh, why? Because more cow cover means uh, more heat is trapped up. and then for the daylight time, it is hotter, for the, it's uh, cooler, daytime is cooler, and then for the light time, it is warmer. So, number one is correct, okay? Loss of long wave radiation, also right, uh, because uh, trapped the heat, as I have said before, okay? If more, if more cow cover, more heat is trapped up, okay? So the loss of long wave radiation will be lower. So accordingly, it should be in a negative correlation. And then number three, counter radiation, no la. Okay, uh, this one is not correct la. Yes, okay. Uh, but check it out why it's wrong. Counter radiation is uh, we radiate the back to the ground from clouds and temperature at light increase. More cow cover leads to lower temperature, okay? Because the counter radiation increase with the amount of the cow cover, okay? It is reflected accordingly. Next. Next one should be this one. Greenhouse gas emission may be reduced because Developing mass transit system, yes, improving energy uh, efficiency of the energy uses, yes, promoting the use of the renewable energy, yes, both of them are correct, so it's number three, uh, one, two, three, uh. yeah, one, two, three, okay, next one. This one is in a positive correlation and intensity of solar radiation of at the Earth's surface increase, okay? For with what kind of things? Eh? Angle of insulation increase, then solar radiation at the Earth's surface increase. True. Number of aerosol will not increase with the solar radiation. What's aerosol? Which is in Chinese, we're talking about Hei Yong Gao, which is just uh, the very minor particle, very suspended particulate that's uh, caused by the burning of fossil fuel uh, or burning of some particular uh, substances. Okay, and this is uh, just you can regard this as a very small suspended particulate after all. Okay, but uh, this is just a greenhouse gas, but not even if we have more greenhouse gas will not increase the solar radiation. We are just going to increase the long wave radiation. So number two is wrong. 
And then how about cow kapha? Cow kapha is low la, okay? More so solar energy will not lead to the uh, cow kapha becoming more one only, okay? Uh, as you can see in the answer. Right here, it, you can see a better building design. Uh, it can reduce the energy consumption for better build, uh, green building design, which can enhance the... Wow, this one crazy, okay? Enhance the uh, absorption of uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. No, la, okay? Because uh, more greenhouse gas will... Uh, more greenery doesn't mean it is more greenhouse gas, okay? It should be fewer greenhouse gas because carbon dioxide is absorbed, right? okay? So number two is wrong. And then number three, uh, the lower maintenance cost of the building. Okay, let's check out the answer. It should be just number one. Yeah, just number one. Okay, because it's not quite related to the uh, maintenance cost for the greenery uh, building design. Okay, I don't think it's, uh, it's going to lowering maintenance cost because for this kind of greenery, you still have to take care of them. Okay, uh, if not, they will have... Uh, quite a problem for example uh, attracting the plants uh, insects uh, to going into the building okay uh, this may be a problem for this one uh, you can see a, a thermal power plant okay uh, if we have a thermal power plant what kind of gases will cause us okay number one coal fire carbon is not caused by burning of fossil fuel it's caused by the coolant okay and also the foam okay F O A M form okay uh, so number one is not correct and then number two and three is correct okay burning of fossil fuel will cause carbon dioxide as well as the nitrous oxide so you can see number two and three is in green color which is talking about this is the right answer okay this one this one please bear in mind okay uh, this one uh, for 2017 and 2019 dbq it's already asked you for three marks already okay X you can see, X is short wave radiation or long wave radiation. Uh. Short wave radiation. Uh. La. Previously, uh, in the CP6, uh, I have told you to start with EZ. Okay, let's check out whether start with EZ is more uh, faster or not. Okay, la. why? Uh, go back well. Okay, uh, it should be a long wave radiation. Uh. Okay, how about EZ? Counter radiation. Let's oh start with E set also a lot faster because E set also having two. Okay, sorry about that. But A is correct, uh, because this one is not really difficult, uh, okay? Bear in mind this one short wave radiation, this one long wave radiation, and then the cows reflect, not reflect, we radiate back to the earth. It's called the counter radiation. Okay? So like this, okay? A. This one, which of the factors will affect the amount of insulation uh, we shift up in the Earth's surface? Slope aspect, yes. Angle of insulation, yes. Nature of the Earth's surface, yes or no? No, because it's not related to the amount of the insulation. Actually, few questions for the past paper eh, is asking you this thing already such as uh, this one, as I've said before, okay? Cow cover, not related to the solar radiation, okay? Uh, so, uh, the answer should be one and two only, isn't it? is also rise your wire oh because it's earth surface okay uh, the previous one is talking about the uh, solar radiation only but this one is talking about the solar radiation in the earth surface okay so this one is right okay sorry about this I missed the word of the uh, at the earth surface be careful huh? Okay. Uh.
because I look like this, I cannot see the earth surface because right here. Okay, ah, sorry. And then for here, CTX and CTY. CTX and CTY. CTX is talking about an inland area. CTY is talking about a coastal area. And then summer temperature, CTX higher, CTY lower. As I mentioned before, inland area always uh, absorb and release heat faster. So that when it's hot time, when it's summer, more heat will be absorbed. For the Y, uh, there will be more uh, fewer heat will be absorbed. Okay, so number one is correct. Zero range of temperature. Right, okay, absorb and release heat faster. And then if these two uh, dual range of temperature and any range of temperature uh, should be in the same line. So e right here, number two or number three, either one is wrong. Okay, but as I said before, uh, if in an area is absorbed and releasing heat faster, then the range will be greater instead of smaller. So number three is not correct, one and two only. Okay, uh, wow, this one sounds, uh, we encountered this before. Uh, we think chlorophyll carbons and water vapor, which one can absorb long wave radiation? All of the above, okay? As I've said before, water vapor also a kind of greenhouse gases, okay? Uh, let's check it out. It's always happening. Yeah, number one and number two and number three, okay? Next one. The consequence of global warming may include Increase of uh, mean sea level, increase of concentration of greenhouse gas. Consequence, ah, uh, be careful. What is consequence? It's talking about effect, but number two is the cause of the global warming, but not the effect of the global warming. Okay, so number two is wrong. And then number, how about number three? Reducing the extent of the sea ice and glacier. This one is also correct. Number one and number three. Okay, ah, uh, number seventeen, not number seventeen. Uh, Number 34, okay, which of the factors are affecting the temperature of an area? All two, yes, okay, high air, if we are in a taller air, air, if we are in a peak, it is cooler, so all the two will affect the temperature of the area. Ocean current, yes, just like London, London is hotter than Moscow, okay, it's affected by the uh, ocean current. Number three, prevailing wind, when the wind is come from a Siberian, just like in winter monsoon, uh, we are having more cooler uh, temperature. So, number three is also correct. Number one and two and three. Isn't it? Come up. Yeah, number one and two and three. Okay, next one. 35, we have X to go, okay, come on. X and Y again, two countries again. Angle of insulation for lower latitude, angle of insulation will be higher, will be larger. So, and for the a higher latitude, the angle of insulation will be smaller. So this one is correct, okay. How about annual mean temperature? X is lower. Y is higher because of the angle of insulation. Okay, uh, if it's smaller, then lower. If it's larger, then higher. This one is correct. Okay, again, this one is uh, this two is uh, going the same way together. How about the annual range of temperature? X uh, is in higher latitude. Uh, higher latitude uh, will have higher range of temperature. So this because there's a uh, different, uh, there's a uh, varied uh, daylight. Okay, uh, so this one is wrong. Number one and two only. Okay. Number 48. Agriculture will cause methane. Yes. Incinerator. Carbon dioxide. Yes. Manufacturing of chemical fertilizer cause nitrous oxide. It's also right because uh, nitrous oxide is always making up of the uh, making up of the making up of the of the of the of the protein, okay? If it's making up of the protein and then it will involve some nitrogen, okay? Uh, if you have learned biology, you should know it, okay? So number one and two and three, yeah, okay? Mostly, I don't know why global warming eh, is having the choices of one and two and three, eh? okay? 
is not a must, but at least you can have a reference. Okay, uh, six uh, six to go. We have six to go. Come on, uh, which of the following are the impact of the global warming on agriculture? Intensification of global pest problem, just like nowadays the lotus problem. Okay, uh, we are fighting the lotus will coming from the India and coming to China, right? Uh, number one is a uh, correct. Okay, lengthening of drought period. In the semi-arid region, it's also okay. Uh, the extension of growing season in high latitude area, uh, in high latitude no regions, which is also correct. So is it one and two and three? Uh, as I have mentioned before. Oh, it is one and two and three. Again, amazing, especially for the global warming. I don't know why it is all the choices one and two and three. Most of the choices are not all the choices are. Whoa, it's amazing. Okay, I found something. Okay, uh, page uh, question 38. Which of the following factors may affect the air temperature of a place? Whoa, it comes again. Okay, uh, audio, yes or no? Yes. Okay, relative, yes or no? Yes. Okay, how about cow cover? Let's see whether this will apply again. The general rules of the global warming. Wow, fabulous! It's also number one, two, three again, okay? So, global warming, uh, most of the time, how come it's one and two and three? Uh, I don't know why, okay? Just a reference, uh, don't take it for granted. Uh. When you really have no choice, uh, you can try, but uh, you better uh, judge it carefully, okay? Uh, don't tell others these amazing things, uh, okay? Which of the following? Are the rate stage of the heat transfer from the earth surface to the atmosphere. One of them is definitely wrong. Okay, don't not for this question. Eh? Don't, not trying to pick up the all, all of the above. Eh? Don't pick up one and two and three. Eh? One of them is definitely wrong, which is short wave radiation. What is short wave radiation? It's from the sun. Okay, soft wave radiation is coming from the sun, which is having a very strong energy. Okay, this and this radiation is having very strong energy that you can see the light. Okay, so number one is wrong, and number two and three is right. Okay, so the answer it should be number two and three is I haven't forget. Or number two only you are. Uh, why? This double learn also make. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It, because it's not going to affect the air temperature. Okay. Uh, because it's from the cow to the earth surface, uh, it's not very strong indeed. Okay. Uh, my bad. This one. The duration of light is uh, 20 hours in the equator. Is it? Not really. Okay. Uh, because the axis is obscured. Okay. So right here, right in this time, the the equator is in here. So that uh, it is not having a duration of sunlight for twelve hours. Okay. If it's uh, like this. Okay, having overhead sun in the equator. Then it is having a uh, uh, twelve hours of sunlight. Okay, the highest uh, angle of sun is in the Tropic of Cancer, right? Uh, you can see the middle arrows is in here. It's pond at the uh, Tropic of Cancer. Okay, it's winter in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, true. Number two and three. Okay. Yeah, 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 my bad, my overlook again. Duration of sunlight is always at uh, 12 hours in the equator. Yeah, I forget that part. Sorry. And then, which of the following are the benefits of the uh, global warming in the for the farmer in the higher uh, latitudinal regions? Okay. Reduction in pest problem, lola, okay, as I have said, the locusts before, okay, increase of crop variety, true, because previously we may not, uh, we cannot grow the uh, hotter species, okay, but right now in the higher latitude, 
we can grow a hotter species. Okay, uh, number two is correct. Number three, longer growing season, which is also correct uh, because uh, fewer slow, uh, longer so force free day. Okay, so which means longer growing season. Number two and number three is correct. Okay, uh, which of the following are the consequence? Again, consequence of the global warming: inundation of island countries, true, and reduction of short term fresh water supply. Huh? Is it number two is a bit weird, and number three spread of tropical disease. So is it number one and number three? Yeah, number one and number three. Okay. Next one. Which of the following is the impact of the global warming in the higher latitude uh, regions? It comes again. Acceleration of the glacier melting. True. Uh, uh, Increase of surface albedo, not right, okay? Albedo, which, which is talking about the refraction rate of the land surface. And if we have more slow, the albedo will increase, okay?